talking about the LCM. LCM stands for least common multiple. We probably way back in the review section already did the least common multiple where we just had numbers. We said, okay, multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 40, ah, 40 is my least common multiple. So my least common multiple of 10m to the 4th and 8a to the 3rd is going to include 40, which is the least common multiple of the numbers, with the variables, you have to include all of the variables to the higher exponent because multiples are bigger. Factors we do smaller, multiples we do bigger. In this case, we have an m to the fourth and an a to the third, and we have to include them both. It's like when you're doing the least common multiple of two and three, you have to take two times three because they don't have anything in common. Now number eight, if I'm doing my least common multiple of 12y squared and 9y to the fourth, the least common multiple of the 12 and the 9 would be 24? No, nope. no, no, no. So he said 12 times 1 is 12, and 9 didn't go into 12. 12 times 2 is 24, but 9 doesn't divide into 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 36. 9 goes into 36 four times, right? So 36 is going to be my least common multiple. Now this time my variables are the same. So when I'm thinking multiples, I'm thinking bigger. So I have to use the bigger exponent, so y to the fourth. So we did greatest common factor, factors are smaller, here we're doing least common multiple, multiples are bigger. So number nine, if I'm doing the least common multiple of 7m squared and 4m to the fourth, I would have... Is 4 divided into 21? Nope. 28. 28. 4 and 7 didn't have anything in common, so that's what I ended up doing, is taking 7 times 4. My least common multiple, if I have an m squared and an m to the fourth, I'm going to use? m to the fourth. m to the fourth, because I've got to use the higher one. Exactly. 